Hello world. Now um, I want to continue on the uh, Scouse lessons. Now um, just as an explanation, I'd said in my previous video that I'm not 100% Scouse and uh, just want to repeat that here. I'm uh, living in Australia now and I've lived in Bath so uh, I know you uh, determined Scousers out there will be uh, picking me to bits, but uh, <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. Alright then, straight into it. Last time I uh, did a focus on party talk, but uh, this time I think I might just find some good words in school. Um, or in your lessons, you know. And I also want to focus on the vowels. So I think I'll do that first. Now, you'll find that the further away you are from the river, the Mersey, uh, the vowels will change. And there is sometimes quite a distinct difference um, with, with the vowels. Um, the nearer you are to the river and the further away. And that includes, of course, um, those across the river, those living across the river, um, who I think, in my opinion, and I've had people disagree with me, I, I'd say they have a posher accent. Um, the, the vowels are more distinct. For in my experience, um, people from uh, across the Mersey, the Birkenhead side would say uh, disgusting, but um, near the city would be li likely to say disgusting, disgusting. And you notice it's a, uh, a big emphasis on the U, the letter U, as a uh, double O. Now I'm sorry, I must apologise. Um, when I say over the river, I'm referring to uh, the Wirral Peninsula as opposed to Liverpool Central, just uh, for those who didn't know that. Now, moving on, words you might find around school. Now, you little rogue, you've, uh, you've got your, your mum's packed up your, your school bag, your little scully, and... Uh, she put a sandwich in there, a, a sarnie, or a, a jam butty, which you're going to scoff later, if it's not too soggy. So you scarp her off to school, but your, uh, your plan is to just sit off, just do nothing, and you can only hope that you won't get sussed. Now as soon as you walk in, the headmaster, he comes up to you, and he looks like he's up for a bit of a barney. And he says, hey you. And you say, yeah what? Yeah what? And he says, ah uh, yeah. And you say, yeah okay. Yeah okay. And he says, zara fact. Zara fact. He wants to talk to you about your work. So he says, uh, I want to talk to you. Why oh, why oh, I want to talk to you. It's treating you like a, like a common college pud. So you decide to do one, to run away. You're bailed out. You went on a bender. But on the way home, you ran into a busy and he wasn't too happy with you being out of school in your uniform. He thought you were right bent. So he takes you down the old dirty cop shop. And all you can say is, let me go, let me go, won't you? I'll give you Laura Dosh. Just let me go. Me mam will be down here and she'll come and get you. But he doesn't care, does he? He just wants to nick you. He's going to marmalise you. So, you get on your moby, you ring your mum. She thinks you're a bit ropey, but 
She's your mum, so she comes down to rescue you. With the oodles of dush for your, uh, your bail. So the way out. Hello? He says, you, you're taking me home, like? You're taking me home? At this point, you're right made up, you know, you're happy. And out of nowhere, she gives you a Kirkby kiss. Right on the hooter. Now I know she's your mum, but what a bloody slag. <laughs>